To determine which version of the control hub you have, check the packaging for a 1.4 sticker, or simply plug it in. The hub will blink with a 1.3 for version 1.3 or a 1.4 for version 1.4. This instructional video is for version 1.4. To start, plug in your lights and control hub. The standard functions for the control hub are timer, dimmer, photo, and power. Use the mode button to toggle between each function. Power is the on-off setting. When lights are on, power will display a 1. To turn lights off, use the arrow and move to 0. You'll notice when your lights are getting ready to go off that the unit is counting down. This is the walk-away feature, and it's designed to give you light until you're safely indoors. You can use the down arrow to speed it up. Timer First, the default timer setting is dusk to dawn. That means your lights will come on when the control hub photocell senses that it's getting dark, and they'll go off when the photocell starts to sense increasing light. When you first plug your lights in, they will stay on as they take lighting measurements. You can turn them off after a few minutes, or leave them on to cycle through light and dark. If you are happy with the way your system is operating and the brightness of your lights, you do not need to do anything else. Simply let the control hub operate in its default state. If you want to make changes, keep following along. To make a one-time use change from the dusk to dawn default to an hourly setting, use Mode to select Timer, and then the arrows to make your change. If you change to 3, for example, your lights will remain on for 3 hours starting at dusk, but going from D to 3 was for one-time use. Once the lights have gone off and then come back on, the dusk to dawn setting will be back as the default. Do you want to change the default so that the lights are always on for 3 hours beginning at dusk? If so, use the Mode button to select Timer. Hold the button for approximately 5 seconds until timer is blinking. Set your number to 3 using the arrows and push Mode one more time. You will see the display spin. Now you have successfully changed the default setting. Your lights will be on for 3 hours starting at dusk until you change the default again. If your lights are controlled by a light switch or you want to turn them on and off manually every time, change the default setting to zero by holding mode until timer is blinking, and then make the change using the arrows. Press mode again to save your change. Zero is now your new default setting. Dimmer. Dimmer is where you change the brightness of your lights. It defaults to nine, which is the brightest setting. Want to make your lights dimmer just one time? Use the arrows to decrease the number. Now, to change the default from 9 to, say, 5, use the Mode button to go to Dimmer. Then hold until Dimmer is blinking red. Change the number to your desired brightness, and then press Mode once again. Now, when your lights come on, they will always be at level 5 brightness. This is your new default. Photo Photo means photo cell. This is the cell that senses the amount of light in your environment. Its sensitivity defaults to 5, which should be fine for most situations. The photo cell cannot be changed for one-time use, but if you notice that your lights don't seem to sense darkness at dusk or light at dawn, you should change the default setting. If you have a lot of ambient light in your environment, perhaps from a floodlight, move the number upward, as the 9 setting ignores the most amount of ambient light. If your control hub is in a shady spot or somewhere it doesn't sense a lot of natural light, decrease the number so that it doesn't ignore as much of the ambient light. Now that you know how to operate your control hub, you're ready to enjoy the safety and beauty of your Placid Point lighting system. For additional resources and troubleshooting, visit placidpointlighting.com resources.